And if you're on a medication, it's really important. If I'm having people that are on meds like SSRI medications, amino acids will help the drugs work better because these drugs work by blocking reuptake ports. And if you're blocking a reuptake port and you're providing more substrate, well, guess what happens? That substrate now is going to increase the symptoms or the potential um, effects of the drug, which can also increase the potential side effects. So I always tell patients, look at the medication that you're on, make sure you know what the side effects are. And so if we add things in, we look for those side effects to occur. If they do, we go back to the prescriber and we gently nudge down um, the dose of the medication under the prescriber's control. So we got to look at what those side effects are. That way, if it happens, great. We adjust or we just go slower too. So my goal is if we're going to adjust medication, we're always doing it from a point of stability, not instability. And we're always utilizing the prescriber that prescribed it. And if you're on some of these meds long-term, whether it's an SSRI or maybe even benzos are the worst, we may need a, a very, very long-term taper. It just really depends. Could be six months up to a year, depending on what the medication. Benzos tend to be worse. SSRIs tend to be less. Um, and it depends on how long you've been on them for. Okay. So, but either way, we don't touch medication dosages unless we have everything in order, we're stable. And then we uh, have a prescriber that's involved in, in the prescription of the medication, monitoring and tapering the dose. Well said. And there's a link between antidepressants and gut bacteria too. If you just look up antidepressants microbiome, you can find some studies on this, but we now know that these antidepressants are negatively affecting the gut and we're seeing changes yep. with bacteria. And in particular, we're seeing clostridia and other pathogenic organisms that we test for via stool and urine. We're seeing these pathogenic bacteria overgrow. So there is a link now between antidepressants and bacterial overgrowth in the gut. So just keep that in mind. If you're somebody who's been on these prescriptions for a period of time, you're having gut issues, maybe you've worked through some protocols, whether it's with us or other practitioners, maybe you're not to the finish line yet, you know, consider the drug could be a contributing factor. I'm not telling you stop the drug. I'm telling you that it needs to be factored in and we got to try to counteract what that drug is doing. And we've seen cases like that where clostridia just keeps coming back and the drug if the doctor was able to remove it from the protocol, then boom, they were able to get well and stay well. Yeah, totally. I mean, my personal opinion on medications like SSRIs or drugs like that, the only, you know, real good application, in my opinion, is some kind of a short term where someone may commit suicide or harm themselves. That's the only, I think, you know, valid reason to be on it at all um, is, is for just pure stabilization and then working with someone with various therapies, whether it's talk therapy, whether it's, and then I think combining EFT or EMDR with that to kind of calm everything down and then utilize the diet and nutrients and then get off the medication. The problem with most medications is once you're on it, you kind of get stuck and the prescriber doesn't want to take you off. And they're also not fixing the underlying root issues. So, you know, my general application is if something's incredibly acute, that may make sense. But in, outside of that, you want to always try to work on coming off that responsibly with all the foundational support underneath and with the prescriber involved. So if anyone's listening and they're on a medication like that and they just want to come off, don't do that. Work with the functional medicine doc and then we'll also work with your prescriber to get you off because there's always can be some kind of a relapse that happens and we don't want anyone to be in a position where... Um, their neurotransmitters just really go wonky where they may do something they regret. Yep, absolutely.